Hello everybody, I got myself a second Steam Deck. This one is a 64 gigabyte model. I'm gonna make it my dedicated Windows handheld, so I'm gonna upgrade the included 64 gigabyte EMMC drive with a 512 gigabyte SSD drive. So here's what you'll need for this operation. A 2230 size M.2 SSD drive. Now 2230 size NVMe drives are not very common, but luckily I have one lying around from my Dell gaming laptop. You'll need a screwdriver. I found the Philips J1 size seems to work well and a plastic opening tool. Something thin and plastic like a credit card will work too. So the first thing you need to do is to turn off the Steam Deck and make sure it's really off. I'm gonna do this without unplugging the battery so you don't want any power going through it. Now if that makes you feel uneasy, you can undo the battery connection if you like. A neat trick is to use the Steam Deck case. You flip it around and place the Steam Deck on it. The analog sticks will fit in the grooves and keep it steady while you're working. Here's the screwdriver I'm using. It's a knockoff version of the iFixit kit. As you can see, it's the plus or cross type and the side says J1. Undo all the screws on the back. As with any electronics teardown, make sure you keep them organized in case they're different sizes or lengths and you can tell which hole it's supposed to go back into. Anyways, I'll speed through the rest here. As you can see, these screws are different. And now the hardest part is always opening these plastic cases since they have clips underneath holding it together. I'm using an old AAA key tag to help me open it. Find a good starting point and wedge the plastic card into an opening, then slowly slide it along to undo the clips. After most of them come off, you can try to slowly pry it apart, but if there is a lot of resistance, use the card on another part of the Steam Deck. Most of the clips on the Steam Deck are on the top and the bottom of the device. Be careful about the SD card slot and make sure to remove the card if you have one in there just in case. Now that we're inside, we have to remove the heat shield. It's held down by two screws and this one under the sticker. Just peel it back a little bit since we'll be putting it back on. Keep track of these screws too since they're really tiny and different sizes. The heat shield will be a little sticky due to the heat pads on it, but lightly try to remove it. Most of the pads should be left on the heat shield once it's removed. Now here's the EMMC driver replacing. We just have to remove this screw and the drive will tilt up at a slight angle. Wiggle it lightly to remove the drive and slide off the foil cover so we can use it on our new drive. So I had a heck of a time trying to slide it onto the new drive. I guess it's a little bit thicker, but I found that you can undo it at the seams carefully and wrap it around the new drive. The adhesive was still sticky enough to hold it together. Once the foil is around the new SSD drive, you can place the SSD drive back in the slot. Work it in slowly until the SSD notch at the end matches the screw hole perfectly when you press it down. Now put the screw back on. Next we'll be putting back on the large heat shield. Make sure to place it correctly by matching up the screw holes because we want the heat pads to be over the correct chips and surfaces. Put the heat shield screws back on and press lightly along the heat shield so we know the heat pads have good contact with the surface too. Now you can put on the back case and put the screws back in. 
Press the edges all around the steam deck. It may make some cracking sounds as the clips fall into place. So I'm going to turn on the Steam Deck while holding the volume down button. I see the SSD in this menu so it's detecting it and working. If you have a brand new SSD it might not show here, but you can access the BIOS to see if it's detected. Or just go through the operating system install and see if it shows as an installable location. So that's all it takes to upgrade the storage on the Steam Deck. Thanks for watching. Bye!